Hi there. What's up? This is a very beautiful evening, and it is hard to see a beautiful evening these days because last time it has rained so much, and some of the area um, was flat, and some of them they were struggling so much, and some of them they even lost their life some of them they lost their family but uh, fortunately today this beautiful evening i'm here this is so nice i really feel the nature you know when i see the green trees and the green herbs there out there you know guys i really feel happy it inspires me a lot in my heart and you know being in a nature is one of the most feelings that I have ever enjoyed. Like uh, William Wordsworth says, uh, he also, one of the most poet, the father of English poetry, William Wordsworth, he praised the mm, nature. He write about the Lucy, that how uh, the natures will take Lucy most of the poem, most of the poet from 18th century, some of them from like modern poetry, they really, really feels or they really praise the nature. They enjoyed the nature. They praise a lot about the natures that as we have studied in uh, our English literature. And so even I really feel the lovely nature today, even guys here. Mm -hmm. I keep fighting on my own, but it's not enough. There is no feelings to compare. The feelings we have while we feel the nature. You know, guys, there are, and there's no more sun, but the sunset is also very nice. That one, the sunset there, out there. Right now, I'm in the Kiawas, Kiryat, is in the Hills, Meglaya, India, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll show you around. This is where I stay. I'm very close with the road, National Highway there. So many vehicles out there. They just come, come, go, come and go, come and go. Right there. There is some hills that is so beautiful and uh, I rarely go there because I got no time to go around to visit there but it's really beautiful okay there the, and that side as well there are so many beautiful plain valley and hills that is to be traveled or to enjoy with and here this lovely evening you know guys what I thought in my mind this time, um, most of the things happen in our life. The man life is very, is so feeble. How feeble the man life is. One of the poets says that how or oh, how feeble a man power is. That is that means that how powerless a man is. Okay, that we the human beings we feel so high. We feels like we are capable doing of doing things but you know sometimes we lack of knowledge to understand ourselves that how far we can go what is the things that we can do and what not even the scientists some of them they believe that there is no god and there is not there is nothing more than a man because they think that even a human being is made or it's come from the ape or something, etc., etc. But the reality thing is that compare or looking at the nature, it's we can see the greatness of God. We can see the power of God. Like these times, as we know, in this May 2022, so many reasons, so many uh, places have been destroyed by the flood by the rain 
fall. But what a man can do, it, nothing can do to prevent from the flood. Nothing can stop the raining, the heavy raining. And what I thought and what comes in my mind is that why do these things happen? Why does God allow these things to happen in amongst the human beings? Even though God created the human beings, but why does He allow something to happen like this? What comes in my mind is that, is this God mistake? Or what happened? Why does this all these things happen? And my answer is no. What I got in my answer is no. All these things happen because Jesus has said that when mm, the Son of, the, when the second of coming of the Son of Man is near, there will be a flood, there will be an earthquake, there will be many things to happen that you have never seen in your life. And yes, it is. Jesus also Mark that he says, Jesus said, The world shall pass, but my words will remain forever. In those words, in those verse, we acknowledge, we came to know that Jesus or God, what we are worshiping or what we are saying, what we are calling God is the real God, He is not fake but the real and the true God because whatever he says really happens to human beings whatever he predicts or whatever written in the Bible comes true so what we need is to be prepared ourselves even though today is your last day just think every day is your last day okay if I think today is my, my last day I will be prepared and yeah, of course, I don't know when will be the last day. Maybe I will live more than 60 years nor 70 years. But if I think of today is my last day, I will be able to prepare to face any kind of challenge, any kind of death. But if you are not prepared and if you think that you will live forever, nor if you think that you will live exactly 60 or 90, then if your last, if your faith is destined today, what will you do? You will go on. This is why we have to be prepared. What we need is to trust in God and to be in God and not to turn away from God, but to believe in Him so that we will be able to accept any challenge that comes in our life. So, as you can see, all the beautiful things that you can see around here, the green herbs, and every beautiful things that we have is created by God. How beautiful it is to feel the nature from our heart. It reduces our distress. It makes, it gives peace to our mind when looking at the natures. Even though by looking at the natures, I thought that, yeah, it's so wonderful. How comes it's so great? I really enjoyed it. And even if his creation is wonderful like this, wow, the, what about the creator? Even his creations are so majestic. Even his creations are so amazing. What about the Creator? How wonderful He will be. This is why today I will say that we must remember God and we should not turn from Him. Though many people or many things come in life to distract our mind, we should stand firm and go ahead and we will win it and you can do it and stay safe and be strong enough to win all the temptation in your life. Thumbs up. Please subscribe my channel.